So we love having our program here at the Y because it's just such an awesome and inclusive environment. It's been like really amazing watching our associates come into the program, join into water aerobics classes with other people their age and just really get socialized and have a great time in the community. Getting the chance to bring track and field into the operations of what's going on here I think is just an amazing opportunity and we're really excited to get that going in 2024. When you're training for track and field, you're really training for everything. Track and field helps you build the skills to participate in any sport and to also do all different kinds of things. I think what this will really do for kids in this community is just give them an opportunity to use their bodies in um, a really free range way. Giving kids the tools to, to run, to jump and to throw and to really be involved with their body I think is um, really gonna be I think a good thing for this community. I would do a lot of water exercises because I have a balance problem. I just really enjoy the why I love the people here. They're uh, so friendly and it's like a big family. Hi, I'm Patty Shuckle and I am the director of the Early Learning Center. Um, we're called the Growing Leaders Early Learning Center. The YMCA fills a need for the community by providing a safe place for children to be who are not going to be excluded for any reason. The ELC offers the community a safe place for their children ages three to five to stay during the day. We're a family-oriented environment. From staff all the way to children, we consider ourselves a big family. It's a safe and fun place to be. What makes the life for everybody is the feeling you get when you walk into the building. We've got you from classes to programs to just a community. We offer a ton of programs for your kiddos, from our little six-week-old babies, eight-week-old babies, all the way up into middle school for our kiddos. So if you don't have somewhere for your kids to be, we're the place to take them. Everybody here is background checked, CPR certified, so that when you're going somewhere, you know that your kids are somewhere safe. They're having a good time, as you can see with our kiddos. They're having a good time, they're safe, so you can do what you need to do, knowing that your kids are gonna be taken care of, making bonds with their staff, making bonds with their friends. My name is Don Lean. I'm the athletic director here at West Albany High School. My role here is to help grow our classroom outside the classroom, which is our sport community, helping kids uh, develop the skills that uh, are important for teamwork, leadership. The why took on a big uh, project to actually grow into something that was big enough to house the sports and activities that we need in the Albany community. We still have limited uh, facilities, and especially in the outdoor area with just the one turf football field. When the Y, Chris Reese pushed for the development of those turf fields over there, it has allowed our soccer teams to practice like in the summers, not in the heat of the day when heat indexes can, can cancel practices. We're able to come in the mornings and get practices in while we're still using our facilities. That's good for the safety of kids. My family and I chose to come to the Y specifically because they offered swimming lessons. We have two boys that have specific needs. Ethan, our oldest son, who's 15, he developed a brain t tumor in uh, February of 2016. And it was the most aggressive form of medulloblastoma. So it's basically a tumor right above your brain stem. And when they removed it, um, he developed a permanent uh, balance impairment. It's called posterior fossa syndrome. And so he needed to relearn all things at a very young age. And swimming lessons just was not a priority at the time. But what really prompted us to pursue water safety is our middle son, Owen, who is autistic. He's nonverbal and he's a wanderer. 
one day at the Salem Water Park, he just vanished. I was with my family, we were watching them, and all of a sudden we couldn't find him. And some local residents there found him um, on the dock, kind of looking into the water. And it became my mission to get them swimming lessons now that kind of all the doctor's appointments have settled down, all the urgency of the cancer, we could actually start doing things that um, would get us back into the normal rhythm of just helping our children prepare, prepare for safety in adulthood. We also started to really um, embrace the gym here. My family and I come about three days a week and our oldest, Ethan, who has the balance impairment, comes with us on Saturdays and gets to work out with his dad and it's just a really awesome experience for us. Everyone knows us here and is so friendly and knows us by name and um, we just feel really welcomed here. We were most excited about the all-adaptive playground. There was a time when our oldest son Ethan was in a wheelchair, full assist wheelchair, and now he doesn't need any assistance. Um, he just has to work on balancing himself. I looked everywhere for some kind of playground that he could have enjoyed when we lived in Portland and there was nothing unless you traveled far away and maybe there was one thing that he could kind of play with. So I'm just so thankful that they took the time to really do their research. The care in the way that the Y sets up families for success that need resources um, that may not be available to them is just so apparent. And assistance like this is exactly what a family like us, ours needs. Oh,